Canada's plants and soils store hundreds of billions of tons of carbon. That's the equivalent to at least 25 years of human-caused global greenhouse gas emissions. The destruction of these ecosystems would release that stored carbon into the atmosphere, having catastrophic impacts on our climate. It is our global responsibility to keep that carbon locked in nature. Protecting carbon-rich areas and using other nature-based climate solutions, like restoring damaged ecosystems, will help reduce already dangerous levels of carbon emissions. WWF Canada has been working with our partners to solve this problem by supporting the community testing of innovative technologies that measure the carbon benefits of conservation actions through the Nature Meets Carbon Tech Challenge. Through this challenge, we have selected final award recipients to receive contracts that fund their ongoing work with community partners. My name is Sean Rudd and I'm the founder and CEO of Kuroju Technology. Our technology called LandSteward is a remote sensing technology to measure the amount of carbon in natural systems. What it does is it's using satellite technology that's orbiting the Earth to measure the height of trees and estimate the amount of biomass using LiDAR. And the power of this technology is that we can cover very, very large spatial extents at quite fine levels of spatial detail in a short period of time. Knowing where the big biomass stores are, the old growth forest, the areas that are most worth protecting, is a useful thing to be able to do. So having that data to hand can help with prioritization decisions, along with other things such as species at risk, connectivity and other factors. But having the solid data make it easier to prioritize. Mon notre technologie se passe sur le litar terrestre qui permet d'obtenir une modélisation 3D de la forêt. En plus de pouvoir estimer la biomasse, on va pouvoir estimer le microclimat dans la forêt et aussi l'habitabilité de l'habitat. C'est-à-dire que en ayant la modélisation 3D de la forêt, on pourra voir les caps entre les arbres et modéliser la radiation du soleil sur le sol et on pourra mesurer le microclimat de différents environnements. Du coup, on, on, on aura ces données-là pour permettre une bonne gestion durable de la forêt. Noble Tree Carbon Group's forest carbon accounting software uses LiDAR data to get carbon data on the individual tree level, but expanded across entire landscapes. We work very closely with the Sequatmaculla Restoration and Stewardship Society, as well as KC First Nation. But our goal is to replace on-the-ground sampling from a plot format that looks at a fraction of the forest to something that takes a look at the entire forest and every tree that's in there so that we can provide a digitally verifiable data set to monitor carbon projects and wildlife restoration work. Together, we can reverse the path we're on and fight climate change by protecting the diversity and richness of nature, not just for today, but for future generations. To learn more, visit wwf.ca.